Jesus Christ, Google, what are you doing? <laughs> I've been using YouTube for probably three years now. I've been making videos on it for almost a year now, and generally I've been pretty satisfied with what they've done. I like YouTube a lot. I've gone on YouTube multiple times a day, every day, for years now. It's a hobby of mine. It's what I like to do. Unfortunately, if Google keeps having their way, that's going to change very quickly. Now, I like Google. I like YouTube. I'm even part of the minority that likes Google+. I don't use it a lot, but I do go on Google+. I check my circles. I, I, I like Google+. But this, I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. Google Plus hasn't been doing well, obviously, and I can get that Google is trying to make it a thing by linking it with YouTube, you know? They want Google Plus to be the next Facebook. They want it to be the next Twitter. And they think that if they link everyone's YouTubes to a Google Plus, maybe people might start using Google Plus more often, which is a... Decent idea in theory, but for it to work, you have to execute it right, and the, the execution for this is horrible. This is one of the most poorly implemented changes I've ever seen in, in anything. It, everything about it, they've just screwed up. It's, there's, they've got a lot of good ideas with this. They've got a lot of good ideas with this, but they didn't implement any of it well. Take the comment system, for example. Lots of good ideas, you know? You can include direct HTML links. You can put hashtags in like you can on Twitter. You can, they've introduced comment chains like message boards like Reddit. You can block users from commenting and replying to your comments, you can edit your comment after you've posted it, if you make a typo. Loads of good ideas, but the implementation here is horrible. It's clunky, it's poorly set up, and they just made matters worse by ruining the inbox. The inbox worked. The inbox was a one-click, one-step sort of destination for private messages, replies, video responses, Anything like that, which getting rid of video responses a little while ago, don't even get me started on that. That was freaking horrible. But getting rid of the inbox was just like shooting YouTube in the knee, okay? They freaking crippled it right now. Because now to see your comments, that anyone replies to your comments on a video you've watched, anyone who posts a comment on your video, it gets notified to you through Google+. Plus. And the way they've implemented this is horrible. They've got that little bell at the top of the screen and you click that and it pulls down this list. But it's not like a well laid out list. It's a list full of random information, hides everything you need to know behind these obscure buttons and lists. And it's, it's poorly set up. It really is to the point where when I linked my YouTube account with Google Plus, I... I, I disconnected it. I removed the link within 15 minutes. So right now, because I'm not connected to Google+, I can't comment on anything. If you don't go with this ridiculous change that Google has decided to make to YouTube, if you don't want to link to Google+, you can't comment on anything. You can't like a comment. You can't reply to anything. So they're backing you in a corner and forcing you to link to Google+, Plus, regardless of whether you want to or not, to continue using the site to its full functionality, which is borderline blackmail. It's... The ideas behind this are sound. They want to make Google+, Plus a thing. So they think that by attaching it to YouTube, they'll get a solid user base and people will start using Google+. I get that they want Google+, to be big, but if you want to fix Google+, you don't ruin YouTube. It's like to fix Google+, they've decided to take everything bad about it and apply it to YouTube. It's almost like they're hoping that they can make YouTube so bad that Google+, will seem appealing by comparison. But what they should have done is taken everything that worked about YouTube, its comment system and the inbox and everything people liked and applied that to Google Plus instead of just shoehorning in this broken, annoying Google Plus 
integration into a website that worked fine before. They're... These changes are horrible. They, 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 they really are. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you can, if you're willing to put up with the Google Plus integration, and if you can get, if you can get it to work, then please leave me some feedback in the comments section below. I don't even know if they call it that anymore. They've probably given it some ridiculous new name to go along with their ridiculous new integration. But anyways, if you like this video, be sure to like it. Leave me some feedback down below. Be sure to check out my channel and subscribe if you want to see more. This is definitely not a normal video for me, but I needed to get that off my chest. Get that out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Screw you, Google+. Screw you.